Alrighty. Welcome team to this month's weekly newsletter. I have my notes and I'm going to do it in a video format instead of typing it out and making heaps of mistakes. <coughs> Step one. Step one. We had a cool thing, a couple of few things happened last month. Um, not specifically last month, but today even. So Saturday we had the Iron Triathlon, which absolutely zonked a bunch of people and it was a hectic workout. And then I think it's on the cards for a repeat, perhaps September maybe, um, six months from now, I think. It should be good fun. And then coming up in uh, April, we're going to do, on the 22nd of April, we're going to do a workout called Riley. Now, I'm sure one person of you is going to be very happy um, because been requesting this workout for a really long time. But it's nice and simple. It's a 2.4K run followed by 150 burpees and then a 2.4k run which i think barbecue afterwards that one's going to be probably a uh, a definite must also on here i want to talk about easter um for easter this year we're going to be closed on friday closed on monday but we'll still have a class on saturday so maybe a fun team workout might be nice um that we'll throw out you know this week um so no classes friday no classes monday but Thursday, Tuesday, and Saturday, all normal. We recorded a podcast the other day, uh, like last week, it, but we kind of were rambling on a little bit, so we ran out a bit of time to finish that one. So we're going to put it into a two-part podcast, so hopefully I can film the second part and then get those up sometime in the week. With Uploading these podcasts takes forever because they're like six gig files. Um, so maybe I should just film them on my phone and not on my DSL, on my mirrorless camera. But hey, you've got to love that quality. You need that picture quality for that sauna cast. Um, so it should be pretty sweet. Moving on from that, Ollie classes for this last month have been on Wednesdays and they're going to continue to be on Wednesdays up until May. So uh, this Wednesday, next Wednesday, and then I believe three more, I think, up to the next month may whenever that is i think may happens on a sunday this year so um that should be pretty good which has been fun um i have been having a little squeeze or been um looking at when the next competition schedule will be so i'll i'll find one in um geelong hopefully and then we can get into perhaps a competition again which should be good with ollie class um which means because we're coming to the end of a program at the moment the last session is next week um, for this current cycle <clears throat> and then from there we can move into uh maybe a bit more heavier stuff um do a bit more peaking work um you know things like that uh, so if you haven't been coming to ollie and you look at it you're like wow that's a lot of work after this wednesday so after easter it'll actually dial back a little bit in the amount of volume um but then we'll pick up the intensity a little bit so we'll throw down some bigger weights assuming you have the position um obviously because Nothing, no world records look like crap, as I say. I think that's pretty much it for news. Got a few things to mention. <clears throat> Let's talk about programming real quick. The current programming, if you remember back a few months, we're in our autumn cycle, so we've still got two months left, so we're one month into this uh, uh, speed and power section, so... If you've been looking at the program, we never do anything heavy over four reps, basically. Um, and we're doing our jump training, so our high sp uh, body weight, high speed stuff. Um, and some skill work as well. And I've been mucking around with some skill work. Ray and I tested some skill work the other day, um, which we'll throw in <laughs> this coming week, which, uh, um, yeah, you know, it's possible. I got Tommy to check it. It's possible. Um, so that'll at least be a bit of fun. Um, and then since this week's a shorter week, we'll probably throw in, uh, one long workout because we had two long workouts last week, um, including today. So the program pretty much follows, a, a at the moment it follows like a four day cycle. So it'll be like a power day. So like a heavy, um, slow lift. So heading to squats, deadlifts, presses, things like that. It'll be like a weightlifting day. So it's like a lighter lift, but do it fast. And then there's our skill and speed day. So we had jumping variations in a high school gymnastics and then a long day. And then we just cycle through that 
um, in different orders, but that's pretty much the four-day cycle. So if you're looking at the programming, you can kind of see where's going to fall um, outside of competition workouts or like um, special event workouts, like today's Iron Triathlon, which was absolutely savage, by the way. You definitely missed out if you uh, didn't get on that one. So highly recommend. Um, you know, don't miss it next time. And then some events coming up. We're looking at uh riley riley but riley plus barbecue which is a hero workout 22nd of april which i mentioned and then in may 22nd of april i think at the end of this month as well so the end of april which i believe is the 28th don't quote me exactly i'd have to double check we're trying to do a friday night fix variation um you'll hear more about it but something along the lines of We'll do a special partner team workout followed by Friday Night Fix, followed by possible beers and movie night at the gym. As to what movie, I mean, I'm always going to choose something like Predator or Fight Club, but you know, that's just me. We'll, uh, we'll throw it out to the team and see. Maybe we'll, go, maybe we'll go one Fight Club, one Notebook. Who knows? <laughs> I was asking a few people the other day and I got some recommendations that I'd never heard of. So definitely not cultured um, like yogurt, but... Uh, I think that'd be a fun idea. We're just trying to pull some strings and get a uh, projector so we could have a bit of fun. Um, and if it goes off, then we'll do one every month, maybe. Maybe an every month, uh, Friday, last Friday of the month type uh, movie night, which would be kind of fun. We can hang out at the gym for a bit. Um, yeah, I think that's most things. Programming, sick. It's only a seven-minute video. As per my usual... Uh, um, newsletter. I've got a few formalities. Let's run through them. We have our new members this month, which I'm very happy to see you all. And I was very uh, privileged enough to coach um, one of the new members, Thomas, the other day. So welcome, Thomas. If you see Thomas or Tom, uh, make sure you say hi. And then we've also got Tim and Nicole as well, who I haven't seen yet because they just signed up today. Um, but they came down the other day. And uh, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll see those guys soon. And and I really welcome you guys to the community and, and I hope you can uh, find some value. And, you know, if you ever need anything, just let us know. Totally awesome. And then my f second final announcement, we, our nutrition coaching stuff is going gangbusters. Um, we've got lots of people on board, which is fantastic. Um, and there's still a few spaces available for time-wise, but not many. Um, so it's pretty scarce. I think about three from just uh, memory. Um, so if you're keen on that or you're not sure, just talk to Zach or I, um, and we'll, uh, we'll, you know, give you the spiel and tell you exactly what it is. We kind of talked about it a little bit in the podcast. I'm going to tell my dog off, but I don't want to yell. <whistles> Zoe, stop it. Sorry. Just digging holes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all the four matters. And then the final one. You'll be told about this as well in a post, separate post. But we did a we did a free month for new members or old members coming back in February, um, which was really cool. It was so nice to see lots of people come back that were kind of on the fence and and just needed a little bit of a poke. And so for April, starting tomorrow or well Monday, basically for the uh, four weeks of April, is it four weeks, thirty days? Anyway, whatever you get the point. For April, we're going to do a free for family month. Cool. So if you have family members that uh, want to come down, then they can train for free for a month. If they want to check it out, if they're not sure, anything like that, we'll look after them. All you have to do is let us know if they're coming. Um, but if they're related to you, either via marriage or blood, then you're good. You can bring them down. Housemates don't count, <laughs> unfortunately. Maybe we'll have a free for housemates month, but not this month. Um, so free for family month. So We'll tell you guys that um, if you have family members that you were keen to get down um, that weren't sure and they just wanted to try it out, zero obligation, um, you're welcome to try it out. You know, we'll, Obviously, we'll scale everything for everyone. Everyone thinks CrossFit's way too hard, but it's really not. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll promote that one, get it out to the team. Um, I might send that in the, in the email. I'm going to put this video in a link with an email. And yeah, whoop, lost it. There's 10 minutes of your time. Thank you very much, team. There's our newsletter. Can't have typos if there's nothing typed. Um, 
and I'll see you guys on Monday. Cheers.